is really interesting. It says Carl. What in the world is that? I mean, I've never seen anything like it. Hey, it's Jason with Denver. It's got something pretty cool today. It's a 1960 Oldsmobile Dynamic 88. Really cool car. This is our 100, 195th auction on Bring a Trailer. So excited about that. We've got 96 and 97 coming up as well. But this is a really, really neat car. Uh, originally it was uh, driven by an uh, Oldsmobile dealer, his wife, back in the day. And then it was also used uh, in uh, for Miss Idaho as well uh, during uh, ceremonies and, and different things. So really neat car. I love the lines. You know, it's got the same platform as the uh, Impala. Just a beautiful car overall. I'm helping a friend of mine uh, sell this car, so he thinks alike, uh, like me. He wants to show things and let people know exactly what it is. Usually it's the reverse on that. You know, people usually buy something, they want to know everything, but when they come to sell it, they don't want to say nothing about it. So anyways, if you need help uh, selling a car on Bring a Trailer, we would be glad to, to help as long as you're not afraid to uh, show things. You know, people like to know what they're buying. Uh, these days so um, you can check us out on our website it's denworks.com it's d-e-n-w-e-r-k-s you can check us out on Instagram Facebook different places uh, like to help so we're gonna walk around start from the front to the back we uh, are gonna show you the lights we actually make these videos not for entertainment uh, we do them so you can actually buy it so sometimes they're a little bit of a snoozer but we don't care we're just trying to show you what the car is um go ahead and show us our blinkers all our lights are working got blinkers on the bottom as well so everything's working there you know this car was actually painted restored back in 87 so if you look at it for a restoration in 1987 pretty good you know they did the paint they did the chrome um, interior top so they did a nice job on it so we'll just walk around you're gonna see little tiny little marks I'm not gonna point out every one but if you see me pointing my finger um, it's usually a chip maybe a little tiny scratch but you look at the chrome really nice shape we've been driving around a little bit uh, so it's got a little dust and little things but look at the chrome I mean, back from that that age, really nice, nice job on the chrome. I love the grill area. Down below, the chrome is really nice, not pitted. You know, what's the mileage on this, Keegan, real fast? It shows 13,129. Yeah, 13,129. I think that uh, when it was restored, my title back from 87 says, or, uh, they noted on there 107,000 miles, so it's got 113 uh, on it now. So that's what they noted back in the day. Um, you can see a couple little chips, little things, but nothing really major. I mean, the car looks looks great. If you look down the side, it's actually really nice and straight. It has been lowered uh, two inches. It's got new springs in the front and blocks in the, the rear. You can reverse that if you want have not seen any rust on the body no rust bubbles or anything like that uh, it's got coker classic white whites on it and those are uh, radial tires they're not uh, bias ply you know again you look at all the stainless down the side in really good condition look at the bottom of the rocker very very clean in general I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the uh, windshield real fast windshields in excellent uh, shape a few little minor little tiny divots from being driven but uh, nothing bad at all top is in really nice condition overall you'll see pictures of it go ahead and uh, make the top go down 
there's two little latches there we'll just show you it working real quick while he's doing that i'll show you the rest of the quarter little chip right there you'll see some little paint checking right here especially in the quarter panel it's not a bondo queen or anything like that but with old paint like this you can see it's starting to check hopefully you can see that you can see some of the pictures but it's actually really solid overall you see another couple little spots there but go ahead and have the top go down hold on one second and when you're putting these tops down you just want to make sure it's there you go go down keep on going just make sure it's rolled real nice there we go he had to help it just a little bit at the beginning was that the same oh it just got caught okay so he didn't have to help it, it wasn't like that yesterday so uh anyways and then it also has its boot right here that we would snap back on it so and that's in good shape you'll see that in the, the photo so we'll just walk around here to the back again not rusty up underneath here I'm gonna go ahead and show you the lights we got tail lights on brake lights we got blinkers and obviously this doesn't have reverse actually I think reverse lights didn't really start coming in or mandatory till I think uh, 1963 uh, from what I remember but I love the back of this car it just looks so so nice go ahead and rev it up a little bit you know it actually runs really nice 371 um, V8 original motor I believe and then it also has a jetaway automatic uh, transmission go ahead and walk around the back here again look how nice the chrome is for for the age really nice just a beautiful car you know I really like it go ahead and look at the quarters and everything over here on this side one of the biggest chips that it has is up here you see a little chip here and you'll see some more of this little checking and stuff around the emblem but overall really nice you'll see a little tiny ding right there little ding there as well but if you look across the trunk lid everything looks good we'll put it on my lift here in a little bit so you can uh, see underneath too and not a lot not many people will do a walk around of the car underneath but we go ahead and do that as well you'll see some of the paint checking and again this isn't bondo cracks or something like that it's just sometimes it's when paint ages you know it starts shrinking and that's what we're dealing with here the one thing i like about this car is that it's really really honest um it is what it is you know it's not a fresh paint job which i don't like unless i've seen a bunch of pictures or something like that so it's it's really not going to get any worse here or anything like that it's just a just an honest car so we're gonna go ahead and uh show you some more stuff here in a in a minute show you underneath the hood and the uh interior hey we're gonna check out the interior real fast super nice inside as i mentioned earlier the uh, seats and everything were redone in 1987 in the original stitching you know they did a really nice job and they've aged really really well i want to go ahead and show you how nice the doors shut super nice inside this car is so comfortable uh, to ride in you know i love the way the dash layout is you know you'll see a picture of me driving it on uh, Instagram I've got the radio working and stuff like that and it's just a it's just a beautiful dash uh, layout I love how the steering wheel look how it insets I mean that's just wild you know a lot of one-off uh, stuff on this car just like they did back in the 60s not like today where they make a run of eight years I mean they were changing everything uh, every year on these cars so uh, they were trying to stay ahead of the game and and keep people interested and stuff you know so 
Um, <clears throat> if you look at the jams, very, very nice. I have not seen any accident damage or anything like that. You can see all the original little spot welds, you know, from the factory. You can see the door panels are in good shape. All the rubbers look nice. It's kind of funny. I, I, I just noticed it. I mean, I've been around the car for a long time here, but it's got a UPC code on there. <laughs> I have no clue why that's there. You know, obviously they didn't do that stuff back in the, in the day. The uh, back of the seats look good. We already showed you the top. One little tiny scuff right there on the uh, seat. The boot here, a little bit of checking right there, but I mean, I would never replace it. It looks really nice. We're gonna go ahead and uh, roll the windows up so you can see those working. We'll see if we're fancy. We can do my side and Keegan side over there. Keegan helps me with a lot of my photos and rolling windows up and down. Uh, that's his main job. Uh, we'll show that side over there. But he sells on Bring a Trailer as well. Uh, he goes by Salty, Salty Millennial, which is cool. The, uh, I always give him a bad time because he's really not a millennial. So maybe that's why he's salty, I don't know. So we'll go ahead and uh, Pop on the other side real fast to give you another look but you know Keegan does a great job so follow his stuff when he gets it uh, get some cars up there and sometimes I mention when he's doing that I see a little uh, switch over there Keegan um, you can see these little lights work right here these courtesy lights but it's missing the little lens uh, right there you can see it over there but I'm gonna shut the door real fast shut your door they go on and off but flip that little switch right there. There, okay. Yeah, so that app operates those. So that's cool. The uh, dash looks really nice overall. The carpet looks good. Um, you know, it's aged a little bit, but you know, you could change it and freshen it up if you wanted to, but it doesn't look bad, you know, overall. So I like the uh, vintage floor mats. You know, a lot of the times here we're we're looking for structural things, problems, but this car is actually really solid. And if you're, you know, the car is in Idaho forever. So if you're familiar with there, they don't salt roads and stuff. They're really dry cars, which this is a great example of. Um, we'll take pictures of underneath the doors, but everything looks really clean uh, underneath here. I'll go ahead and pop the glove box there for you huge glove box all the way across you know super nice original sticker information there for you so anyways we'll uh show you some more stuff underneath the hood hey we're gonna pop the hood real fast just a little uh yeah i just had my hand on it. a little latch right there just pull up Easy to do with one hand. Pretty clean underneath here. 371 Jetaway transmission, 371 V8. I believe it is the uh, the original engine. We took a picture of the engine number. Um, I think it was right here on the side there. It says uh, there's a big zero or a C, 663-860. Um, you know, you guys can do your research and general stuff on it. In general, you can see the uh, body buck tag, cal tag uh, there. So very nice underneath the hood. A couple things that we did to it, even though it was uh, my friend's rig that were helping. Um, we had the generator rebuilt, the original generator there, and had a new uh, voltage regulator uh, put in it as well. Um, previous to, uh, to us getting it, getting it, and we'll, we'll double check things for you, obviously, is uh, I know that the previous people had uh, done brake work and things on it uh, in general, so um, I don't know the extent uh, to that in general, but some of these hoses look fairly new. Um, I would like to probably put a new belt. This doesn't look bad, but we might put new belts 
on uh, for you. Um, Cause this is uh, one of those cars you could fly in and drive it home. Um, you don't want to make any uh, claims that you'll make it, but I, I believe you would. Um, it's just one of those kind of cars. So, you know, and I say that kind of being funny, but you never know. I mean, you can buy a brand new car and, and something happened, but uh, this is just a nice cruiser. And uh, my friend that I'm helping sell it for, he's driven it around and, and had a great time with it. So the other thing in here I'm pointing out is, again, we're not looking at prettiness. I'm looking to make sure there's no accident damage or anything like that. And everything looks very clean, very, very clean. In here the cowl looks nice back there that's not rust or anything like that it's just where paints chipped away and, and different things uh, so cowl looks really really good you can see it's got power steering and power brakes power brakes is a pretty big deal uh, back in the day so go ahead and fire it up it's got a two bit two barrel carburetor on it you can see there You know, it actually does run uh, real nice. You can hear a little bit of fan uh, noise there, nothing big. Um, it is uh, a cold-blooded uh, little guy. You know, it will start right up, but you really gotta warm it up before you take it out uh, for a spin. So, um, but it does start right up, and it just likes to idle for a little bit. Uh, Cause when you start putting your foot on the gas, when it's cold, it likes to die, so. Just give it five minutes, you know. It, just act like yourself, you know. Get a little coffee, hang out for a few minutes before you take off. So, anyways, I'll show you some more stuff. Hey, you're gonna take a look in the trunk real fast. Huge trunk, actually. Uh, you put a lot of stuff in here. Um, very clean in here in general. Uh, all this stuff is down here. Some of it's glued down, and there's um, you know matting and stuff like that. I can't I can't pull all that up, but overall, it's actually a solid trunk. Overall, you can see here is just uh, this isn't rust actually. It's if you rub that off, it's the glue backing. So quarter panel looks good. Looks like you can see these little things here that's for the emblem but there was a little bit of a, a repair uh, in this area but if you look back behind the tail lights and stuff looks very clean and I haven't seen any accidents in general you can see one little hole right here but what I think there was it was probably a plug here and it rusted just a little bit more around the plug uh, maybe I can see on the other side in general but the rest of the if you look across here Tail light panel looks really good. If you look at the uh, gutters, very, very clean overall. Um, I'm not going to take the spare tire out right now, but we'll take them out for our photos. Yep, that was right. There was a little plug. See right here? There was a little plug and it rusted around uh, the edge on that other side. So, um, overall, nice trunk. Another thing that you want to look at on these cars. You can see it's not all rusty across here. You can see the drain isn't plugged. So, solid. Original sticker, not a reproduction. So, and it's actually got the original uh, insulation in there. So, pretty nice trunk in general. And you all obviously got the uh, spare tire, which is a white wall. Uh, but I don't see a jack in here. You got a jack handle, but I don't think there's a jack in here. So. Anyways, that's easy to get. Hey, thanks for cruising around with us in the uh, old, actually just a fun car uh, to drive. Like I mentioned before, I mean, look at the dash. I mean, it's just, the thing is just nuts. Uh, just really pretty looking across here. Uh, I just wanted to show you behind the wheel a little bit uh, driving in general. You can see there's not a lot of wheel shake or anything like that. Um, it actually looks, you know, tires seem like they're in pretty good shape. 
Uh, obviously, you can see the radio worked. You did probably hear a little bit of uh, crackling up there in the uh, speaker, which is pretty common, an old speaker like that. But um, so, but at least it plays, you know, and uh, it's pretty amazing. If you look here, it's got this ribbon style um, speedometer. So I'm going to slow down a little bit. See, it goes green, and then it'll go. It'll start turning orange, and I believe when you speed up a little bit. Uh, we'll go a little bit faster here. I thought it turned to uh, yellow, uh, but anyways, it's a, an orange. But anyways, that's working, which is amazing. Also, uh, the speedometer, uh, the odometer works, 13130. The generator light, oil light, uh, those will come on when you, uh, when the engine's off, you know, when you go out to the car and put the key on, uh, those come on and then you turn the key and uh, those immediately go out, so we know those are working as well. I'm going to pull over here real fast so you can see some other things, but you can see the uh, um, fuel gauge is working, but I just wanted to go over a couple other things uh, real fast. We'll pull over. I've got this big dump truck behind me thinking he's just going to run me over, but um, or maybe he just likes the car. I think he probably likes the car. So let's pull over here and I wasn't lying, big dump truck. So anyways, I'm gonna put it in park. One thing that's different about these cars in general, um, you can see here, park, neutral, drive, S, L, and then reverse is all the way at the end. So if you're a hot rodder, you don't wanna slam it down at first, then all of a sudden you're in, uh, in uh, reverse. So that's not too uh, fun. Uh, it's got uh, vacuum wipers. They work. You know, I haven't had it out in the rain, so I don't know how uh, how good they work. But uh, they're working. Lights are working. Um, and I think that I can just barely see it uh, flicker right there. Um, sometimes I see it. You can see the uh, bright lights. You can see the blinkers left and right are working. The heater fan, I'm going to push this in real fast because so that takes a second. The heater fan... Um, it, it's underneath the hood. It, the motor does work, um, but it has a vacuum and uh, electrical, so it could be rewired underneath there. Um, you won't hear it on uh, right now, but we can go outside and manually do it. Um, but I think the, the thing is the vacuum isn't working correctly, and so the, the, the flapper isn't working. But, um, but we know the motor works, so something's uh, not correct here. Uh, right now the horn it does work but sometimes it's not working so um, it's probably just you know old brushes or you know connection points in there so you heard it working there a minute ago and the lighter it does work it is hot um, but I'm not gonna take up smoke and I'll probably plug my cell phone into that but hopefully that gives you a good view um, of things that work and not working and things that need little attention not a lot of things, but um, definitely in, enjoyable to uh, drive and everything. So we'll go ahead and uh, drive around and uh, show you some more stuff. check out uh, underneath the olds real fast you know you're still gonna see all the still photos but I think a video helps a lot so if you're thinking about selling a car in general a video is kind of nice because you get to point out uh, different things that are you know good things and bad things in general so and that's the second thing that I look at when I look at a car the first thing is uh, I look at it I was like wow that looks really pretty and then I'm crawling underneath I want to see uh, the structure I want to see rust you know issues repairs in general so anyways this car actually is an amazing shape underneath for a convertible you know a 1960 you know it's uh, been in a dry climate and underneath really shows how clean this thing is um, 
very very amazing uh, if you look at the floors look at the rockers all very 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 nice so we'll just uh, start from the uh, front uh, to the back you know again one of the first things I want to notice is no accident damage I haven't seen any weird tweaks or anything like that actually really clean uh, overall underneath the engine you're gonna see some seepage um, there's different areas especially right around the bell housing area if you look up above you know it could be maybe the back of the valve covers because if you look at the um, let me get my camera right here for you you can see a little bit of oil coming off that uh, housing right above so a little bit of that oil could be dripping down uh, from that you can see a little bit of seepage around the transmission um, the only stuff that hits the ground is right around this area that I'm kind of pointing uh, you'll have a you know a couple 50 cent pieces um, after you drive it and let it sit it's not a thing where it's you know pouring out when you're driving down the road or anything like that uh, you know it's not hitting the exhaust or anything like that but when it does sit it does uh, seep a little bit and now that I look at that it could be it could be that housing uh, there a little bit of a culprit uh, of it but there's definitely enough uh, small things here you'll see a little bit of leakage around uh, the starter there so but you know it is an old car I mean it's pretty common on this old stuff so um, in general it runs great mechanically very sound you know, so I'm actually pretty impressed uh, with it in uh, general. I know that they had lowered the front. And they said that uh, there was different springs in it, but right here, they might have put a little bit too low a spring because there is one of these screw-in uh, spring uh, stretchers on this side. Uh, there, don't see one on this side. The car sits actually really, really level maybe the spring was a little weaker I'm not sure uh, but there is one of those uh, push-in ones in general you can see here on the uh, um, <clears throat> on the bar sway bar here the bushings are bad you know so it needs new bushings there but you know I'm not uh, nitpicking it or anything like that it is what it is and just wanted to show you different things I mean <laughs> we're not expecting brand new car here so and I get that um, the ball joints and everything look actually really good you know I don't see any issues uh, with those you know and I've shook the wheels back and forth and bearings feel good and everything like that go ahead and look at the frame body mounts look at the body mounts on that really nice the frame is in really good condition look at the floors just amazing you know, look at the bottom of the rocker. I mean, when was the last time you see a GM convertible in this condition underneath here? Just amazing. With no replacement floors. And that's just crazy. You know, obviously this car has been well cared for for many, many, many years. So, and it hasn't really been, been in the elements because look underneath here, you can see the original spot welds right there in the rocker. You can see the drains aren't full. Very clean. You know, I think someone's going to be pretty happy uh, with this car in general. It's just hard to find. You know, a lot of cars that you know you get on the East Coast or need a lot of rust repair it costs a lot of money. So, actually, really impressed. Look at the body mount there. Body mount over on this side. Pretty impressive. You can see it's got uh, two-inch lowering uh, blocks in the rear. Look at the trunk drop-off hands. Again, super nice. All the spot welds, original spot welds at the bottom of the quarter. No bubbling. Hmm. I'm impressed. This is actually the first time I've had it up on the lift. So, I didn't get to see it before my uh, workers put it up here. It does new, need probably a new tailpipe. If you look right here there's a few little holes a 
Where'd they go? Well, there's a couple little pinholes, but then this is this is the worst one. And actually right here, there's a couple little pinholes. So, at least from probably there, that connection, you can see that connection that's rusty. Right from this connection back is actually where it needs it uh, the most. But look at the trunk, drop-offs on this side too, spare tire area. Very good. Sorry I spent so much time underneath um, this thing, but it's really important on a convertible and this one's awesome. So anyways, if you got questions or anything like that, uh, go ahead and email me. Would love to help. Um, come out and look at it. Email us, make comments. Have fun bidding. Thanks for looking.